it's Amelia Rosco with Planeta X Live. And you know what? If Trump hates it, we love it. That's why we love Las Cafeteras right here at Talia Hall. Thank you so much for visiting our great city. We Gracias. love Chicago. Gracias. Did you see the show? Yes, I did. I did, sure did. I didn't miss any of it. I could barely dance. And I know you guys were telling us to dance, but I'm like, I don't want to miss anything that you guys are doing. Especially you. You're jumping a lot. Me? Jumping around a lot? Never. I'd never do that. You guys are like so awesome because in, uh, aside from dancing and entertaining us, you also teach us a lesson each time. Tell me a little bit about how you come about doing that. You know, I think life is a lesson and there's a lot of really crazy things happening in the world. And for us, it's really important to kind of step back. You know, if we can't change the world now, little by little, let's change the way that we treat each other. Let's change the way that we, ha we handle our family, right? And it's like, yes, let's talk about the things that are wrong, but let's celebrate ourselves, our culture, our family, our roots. And like, we got to do it together. That's awesome. Yes, we do. And one person at a time, right? Yeah. Even if it's one person at a time. Have you had an experience in one of these tours where you said, hey, you know what? I think I reached that person. Anything like that ever happened to you? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one time we were at a show and uh, this, this gentleman, he said he had his two daughters and um, they were, you know, they were like hanging after, they were kind of like, you know, all cute. And then um, they, they spoke with uh, Denise afterwards and they, um, they, they got their like stuff signed, their shirt signed. And then like the father, like the little girls were like clearly looking up to her. And then the father said like, he said, you know, it's really cool for me to be able to have like women that my daughters can look up to and that I can bring them to something like this. And so I think for me, like when I have kids, I want to be able to have people like that they can look up to. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of people I can look up to, to be honest, like uh, figures in the world. So for me, I think that's special. And I think it's, it's simple and, it, and it's, it's not like, okay, that didn't keep Trump from being president, but maybe they'll be our president in the future. Maybe they'll be a president of a business or a school or something. And, and that's what we need. We need everybody to like get out there, like take some, whatever inspiration you get from us or a flower or anything in life, go create something and, and do, do what you're here to do. You know? I like what you guys said, if you don't move, there's no action, right? And speaking of president, what's a new city called, Leah? Our new city tastes like LA. Tastes like LA, yes, yeah. Now, talk about role models. This little one's gonna have some really good role models. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's all that Chicago pizza. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about how you became a part of this movement and like, what, what do you think of what's, what's coming next? Oh man, I know, I'm rubbing my belly too. <laughs> now, how I became part of this, I think it was by accident, really. I think this whole project is just kind of by chance by accident by destiny the universe just kind of brought us all together just like i don't know like a random concoction of things we're very lucky to have found each other and run into each other and like every, everybody brings something you know everybody brings a strength a love and and we all share and like it's crazy how like you can't plan something like this something like this just happens because that's what that's what the universe does so he, he he's giving a story though he and i were roommates and we were in the living room rehearsing and i was like I was like, hey, does it cool we rehearse? He's like, yeah, that's cool. And so we played in the living room, and then I don't know what happened. We're playing some song, and then some guy comes out with like a Native American flute. And he's like, <laughs> and we're like, yeah, you should definitely keep playing that. You should definitely. And so he was in the band ever since. And the rest is history, and then, right? We had, a, we had a show the next day. Like, hey, Don, you want to come play your flute at our show? <laughs> yeah, and then that's it. That, and now we're. No, you know what? I think I see some ladies out there who could be dancers in your show too. But, but, uh, but now, <laughs> before we go, let's just leave with a really positive note. You know, we just had the day del immigrante where everyone took a day off, and we we're talking a little bit about this off camera. What do you suggest people do beyond that? Like, say they took a day off or not, what can they keep doing after that? I think it's really hard to think about what to do in the country. I think people really need to start thinking about what to do in their in their homes and like in their neighborhood. Like I can't change the country. Like that's not my capacity. What I can do though is have kind of real conversations with my family who, you know, everybody's got familia that like, you know, when I think about my family, like there is homophobia in my family. My, there's a lot of prejudice in my family. And so I got to do that work to make sure that we conscious and I gotta do that work in my, my, my nephew's school in my neighborhood. If everybody does that in their neighborhood, then we're gonna see a very different America. 
So people in Pilsen, work to change Pilsen. And then everything else will follow. We need to be examples. Instead of pointing the finger, we need to be like, what can I do? Like, start reflecting instead of like criticizing. I think we'll see a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Very good. And like a good friend of mine just recently said, he said, um, if you're tired, rest, but don't give up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So, so do you, Leah? So do you feel a little bit of hope for your little one there? Then? Yes, I do. I mean, I think we're really blessed to be able to travel the country and play music and be in spaces like tonight. Um, and see all kinds of beautiful people and interact with people doing really good work like midwives and therapists, people working with real people to make the world better. So yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you Denise for taking the time off camera. This lady just like talked to me and she's like so sweet and you're just so talented. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you all of you and I thank you guys for being here with us and thank you guys for watching and we'll be back soon and follow Las Cafeteras. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>